When it comes to running your Apple HomeKit, you've got several options for a hub. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why the Apple TV is going to be your best option for the brains of your Apple HomeKit, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does, and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. So there are several options for hubs that you can use for your Apple HomeKit. We've got an iPad, we have got the HomePod minis, and then we also have Apple TV. Now, even though you can use all three of these as the central location for your HomeKit home, I highly recommend the Apple TV as your main option. Now, even though you can use an iPad as the hub, I would recommend not doing that because if that iPad leaves the house, you lose all functionality of your HomeKit because essentially you took the hub with you, it left the house. If it leaves the internet, it's not going to work anymore. The HomePod mini is also a good option, but it is just a tiny speaker. If you go with the Apple TV and connect that to a TV, a monitor, a projector, whatever you have it connected to, it's essentially going to be a HomePod mini with a display. So in addition to controlling everything from your phone, you're also gonna be able to use the remote that comes with this thing to control it on your TV. And the cool thing about this is that you can also do things like view cameras and do a lot of other cool things. And that is what we're gonna be talking about and I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. Now with that said, let's get started. Okay, inside the box, you're going to get the Apple TV. You're gonna get the remote. You're also gonna get a power cable and you are going to get a lightning cable. And the lightning cable is going to be used for charging the remote. Setting this thing up was really easy to do. All I had to do was plug in the power and then plug it into the HDMI cable that goes into my TV. I immediately got a setup window that popped up. I selected a few things and then it said, bring my iPhone closer to finish the setup. I did that and as soon as I brought my phone closer, it went through and finished the setup on my phone. The cool thing about this is I was able to do the rest of the setup. It pulled down my profile. It pulled down all the things that were related to my phone. Everything I use on the phone, I was able to have access on the device right here. The first thing I did and the thing I'd recommend for you guys to do is to run a software update. Make sure you have the latest software on this device right here. Once you do that, you're gonna go back into settings and you're going to go to the options that list AirPlay and HomeKit. We're gonna scroll down from there. We're gonna select that. And then we are gonna scroll all the way down at the bottom where it says Home Hub and make sure that it says connected. If it is not connected, you may have to finish up the setup through your phone, but once it's connected, it is now going to be set up as your home hub, and this is going to allow you to control everything in your home kit. This is gonna be things like automations, viewing cameras, setting up other devices to work with HomeKit. Now let's jump over to the screen and I'll show you guys a few more features that you can do with Apple HomeKit on the Apple TV. So I've got to say, these moving screensavers from Apple are just absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and back out of it. Back out of here. Okay, so now we are on the home menu right here. Now I wanna show you guys a few things that you can do with the Apple TV. First off with your remote, if you push and hold on the button that looks like a TV. So I'm gonna click and hold on it. This is gonna bring up the command center. So you can switch between accounts here. I can scroll up and switch between accounts right there. I can put it to sleep. I can watch the last movie that I was watching or the one that I wanna look at right here is the HomeKit one right here. So if I click on here, it's going to bring up the camera that I've loaded in HomeKit. Now, if I scroll up on the camera right here, I can swipe from side to side to view more cameras. Unfortunately, I only have the one. So if I click on this to load it up, it's gonna load up the live view of the camera that I have outside. So pretty awesome feature that you can do right there. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that. We can run our favorite scenes here too, if we wanna do that. And to get to this, I had to hold down the button on my remote that looked like the TV. All right, so I'm gonna back out of all of this stuff right here. If I do just push that TV button, it's gonna load up the Apple TV. So we've got a bunch of different options here. This is just a kind of a brief overview of the Apple TV, different things you can do with it. You can watch all of your different shows right here. I'm gonna hit the TV button again. It's gonna take me out of the Apple TV and go back into apps right here. So I can load up different apps. We have the App Store, we can load up to a computer, we've got settings. Like here I loaded up the Disney app, which is something that we have an option to right here. You can also push the microphone button on your remote to bring up Siri. So that's gonna bring up Siri options. Show me the Eufy Cam 2C Pro. So you notice I can also request it. So I can just push and hold that button down. So if there's a specific 
camera that you want to take a look at and you don't want to flip through the menu, you can just hit the Siri button on your remote and specifically ask for that camera. Now, in addition to viewing your cameras on the Apple TV, another great feature, which I will say I haven't tested this out yet because take a look at this. I just got this HomeKit video doorbell. I haven't even opened it yet. It literally just came in right before I was gonna shoot this, but I wanted to bring it up in this video. If you have a HomeKit video doorbell and you are watching TV on your Apple TV, if somebody comes and rings this doorbell, it is going to pop up a picture in picture, so a small picture up in the top of the screen that is going to show you a live view of the front door. You then have the option of loading up a full screen of the image to actually get a better view of what is happening at your front door. But that is another cool feature that you can do with an integrated video doorbell and your Apple TV. All right, now I wanted to show you guys what some of the features are you can do with the Home app. So we're gonna load up the Home app on my phone right here. If I scroll down here, I can find my Apple TV. I have it listed in my office. So I can tap and hold on that. And that is going to bring up the Apple TV and some of the controls. Now, if you notice that next to the play button, just to the left of it, is there a little remote button. So I can tap on that and I can actually use my phone as a remote for the TV. So this right here looks just like the remote that came with the Apple TV that I'm using. And you can do all the same functionality on here. Now you can just scroll up from the bottom if you wanna get rid of it. And if we scroll down even more, it's gonna bring up the options for this guy right here. So you can name your TV here. We can select the room that it's gonna be in. We can also set up certain automations. So we've got an automation suggestion here that says, when anyone leaves the house, pause the media. Now, personally, I don't wanna use that because if I leave the house, it's gonna pause it for the family and kids, but it gives you an idea of some of the things you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here because now that this is our home hub and we can use it for HomeKit, we've got the option of setting up different rooms. So you can set up different rooms right here. I'm in the office right here. I can swipe. Let's go ahead and swipe side to side. That's gonna bring us to different rooms. Uh, I can click at the very bottom on automation. So I can set up different automations now that are all gonna be controlled through the Apple TV. That is going to be kind of the central brain of everything. So my favorite one that I have right here is the one right here in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that one right here. So this one essentially says, I'm gonna go ahead and click on when. So it says when my front door, I've got it unlocked at nighttime. So that is the trigger what's gonna happen is that the front porch lights are gonna turn on. So anytime somebody unlocks the front door at night, the front porch lights are automatically going to turn on. And I have this set to automatically then turn off after 10 minutes. So turn off for 10 minutes and then turn itself off. And that is something that is gonna be controlled locally on that Apple TV. Now you can do other things here. So I've got another one that is going to, when I leave the house, it is going to turn off all the lights and the thermostat in the house. Another automation that I have right here is, this one is anytime I walk into the office here, the motion sensor that I have is going to turn on the air purifier. And it's gonna run that for, looks like about 35 minutes before it's gonna turn it off if it doesn't detect any motion in this room. So setting up different automations and having everything locally processed on that Apple TV is just an awesome feature right there. So yes, you can use an iPad or HomePod mini as a hub for your home kit, but the Apple TV with the display, being able to view cameras, getting a live view if somebody rings your doorbell up on the TV is just awesome features that I love about this device right here and why I recommend it for anyone who is looking to set up a HomeKit hub in their house. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. If you guys are looking to get one of these devices, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna know anything more about HomeKit or any of their products, check out the link below to reviews.org. If you guys wanna see more from me, check out my YouTube channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of cool tech reviews. As always, I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org and I'll see you in the next video.